Okay, let's tag and title this video on page optimization for maximum SEO value. So what I did here is I whipped up this high level diagram to show you the moving parts that are involved in optimizing a blog post article. And as you know, WordPress is the one and only platform to use. So starting from left to right, top to bottom, you got over here you got keyword research, which is a whole nother skill set in and of itself, whether you use Micro Niche Finder and Market Samurai, the keyword tool, Keyword Spy, half a dozen tools I use. But let's just say that for discussion purposes that you've done adequate keyword research. Your best practices technique is make sure at a minimum you have one to two percent keyword density in the blog post article, which says that for every hundred words your keyword shows up. And then another technique that is good to follow always is have an image within your blog post article and just make sure that you have an alt tag with your keyword in it. And then the meta tags, the metadata rather, which is your tags, titles, and keywords. You want to make sure that your target keyword, a keyword phrase, is bold, it's italicized, and it's underlined. And you want to make sure that you have an H1, an H2, and an H3 tag for your target keyword phrase. For external links, unless it is a superior page rank, then you want to have a no follow. And because my blog is only a page rank four, I put no follow on 90% of my external links because most pages, they're, they're less than four, unless I'm talking to Mashable or Web Pro News or a handful of other sites that I get link juice to. You want to make sure that you also have internally, you've got a link to other internal pages. The web bots like that because that builds the case for why your site would, would be considered an authority site. And then lastly, want to make sure that your keyword is in the first and last sentence of your blog post article. All right, so that's a high level. Now we'll take it to the next step and we'll look at the moving parts that are involved in that. So you want your keyword in the title of your article. You want to have a 1 to 2% total keyword density. Every 100 words, your keyword better show up. You want to make sure that you have your keyword in an H1 tag in an H2 tag and in an H3 tag. You want to make sure that your keyword or your keyword phrase is bolded, that it's italicized, and that it's underlined. And then also you want to make sure that you have an image in every blog post article that you do and make sure that you have an alt tag, alt text tag in your keyword of the of that uh, that image. And you want to make sure that you link that blog post article to other pages within your site. And finally, make sure that you have your keyword in your first and last sentence. Okay, so you can do this manually, but it's just a royal pain. So for under 100 bucks, you can get this tool called SEO Presser. And what it does is it lists out initially all of those steps. So if you type in your keyword into the SEO Presser table, or the field rather, you're going to start out and you got all these X's and it's going to say you don't have this, you don't have this, you don't have this. So you don't have an H1, an H2, an H3, etc, etc, etc. And your keyword density is, is too low. So then over, as you just make these modifications to your, to your code, to your blog post article, then all these X's will go away and it'll look like that. And that's the, that's the, uh, the objective, is get to 100%. Um, my research shows that anything over 85% is still good. So that's what I shoot for because I don't want to spend two hours doing this. This will let me optimize a blog post article in about a minute and a half. Okay, so to summarize, make sure that you do good keyword research. And if you need those skill sets, there's a number of posts that I have on my blog that will show you that. Make sure you have a 1% to 2% keyword density. Make sure you tag and put an alt text for your images. Make sure you bold, italicize, and underline your keywords. Make sure you've got an H1, H2, H3 tag with your keyword in it. Make sure that you have a no follow for your external links and you have a link pointing to another page within your site relevant to that content. 
and make sure that you have your keyword in your first sentence and your last sentence. So when the Google bots crawl your site and index your site, it's going to see a well-structured blog post article, and then that's how you're going to get ranked on the page one of Google. All right, so that's part one. Part two, I'm going to jump online, and I'm actually going to do all of this for you in real time. So I'll hit the pause button and be back here in a second.